Happy St. Patrick's Day. I love drinking holidays. This presidential season, it is just like a St. Patrick's Day parade. It is filled with amateurs who've convinced us that day drinking on an empty stomach is a good idea, which is all fun and games until your liver or the economy craps out on you. And there's no one to hold your hair back when you're barfing on the wrong bus headed to Secaucus, New Jersey. Thanks, Obamacare. Now, Donald Trump, he's like the guy at the bar who's already drunk by 9.30 in the morning. He's got big ideas and stories to tell, like how he's going to build a giant wall and get Mexico to pay for it. And the one time he got Bo Derek pregnant. Oh, and then there's the tale about keeping Social Security exactly as it is, all while balancing the budget, lowering taxes, and building rink-eating cheap plastic crap in Detroit as a screw you to the Chinese. It's like selling functional alcoholism as a health craze. Now, further down the bar, you see good time Bernie o Sanders passing out free shots in the form of unsustainable government programs. Don't get me wrong, everyone loves free booze. The problem is he's using your credit card and you don't even get to drink. And of course, there's the ultimate cultural appropriator, Hillary Rodham Clinton, who would push Chelsea under a bus if it meant getting more superdelegates, and she'd change her name to Dolores McGillicuddy O'Toole if she thought it would improve her chances among working class Irish Americans in Boston and Chicago. Oh, you'll recognize her. She's the one wearing the Kiss Me, I'm a Felon t-shirt, whose policies and programs resemble those puddles of vomit you have to sidestep after the parade. She'll beat the Constitution to death with the chalet then blame the fall of the Republic on a YouTube video. Where's Bernie when you need him? Because I need a drink.